Pittsburgh killer, a family is asking for your help tonight. They lost their 12-year-old son in the deadly shooting over the weekend. WGN Sean Lewis talked with the family today, and he joins us now with this heartbreaking story. Yeah, truly heartbreaking. Demetrius Tonsil Jr. is his name. He loved to laugh. He loved to play basketball. So did his twin brother. And tonight, his family is simply overcome with grief in the wake of the shooting that has absolutely no answers. I can't hold my baby no more. Please turn yourself in. The anguish of a mother cannot be erased. I go home empty. I miss his love. I miss him. Less than 48 hours since her son Demetrius was shot and killed in Gary, Indiana. Why could you just hurt my baby? Family members gathered at the scene of the shooting at 26 and Pierce, just a block away from a relative's home where Demetrius and his twin brother Darius were visiting over the weekend. He's the funniest dude I ever know. Everybody up, made them laugh. I miss my brother. The boys, sixth graders at RJ Daly Elementary Academy on South Walcott in back of the yards. People got to realize he's going to deal with a lot by just seeing that as a young boy, his own, his brother. That was his brother. That was his other half, and he's going to he's going to be empty from that. You know, so we just want to do whatever we can do to try to help him and help each other to where we can do this, to where we can find this killer. The twins were in the back seat of the car when the killer stepped out of the darkness of a rundown shack and opened fire. Demetrius was hit. Darius held his brother and tried to stop the bleeding while the car sped two miles away to Methodist Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. There's too much going on today. People dying every day over COVID-19. Why would y'all take my baby life? My baby's just 12 years old. How could y'all just take that from me? There is a $2,000 reward being offered for information that leads to Demetrius's killer. The anonymous tip line right there below us. It's 1-800-YOU-TELL-US. That's 1-800-883-5587. Again, that's an anonymous tip line, so you do not have to give your name. It's so hard to hear those family members uh, at the mic. And you said yeah. his brother wanted to talk. Yeah, he wanted to talk. He wanted to say something about his brother. Mm. Um, their sheer strength was amazing today. Sean, thank you. Mm, you so sad. Well, Tom is back in less than 10 minutes with the latest on the potential for more rain headed our way. Also ahead, there is a lot of uncertainty about whether or not college campuses will open as normal this fall, but this afternoon, Notre Dame made a surprising announcement about its plans. We'll explain ahead after 945. Also ahead, a restaurant with a legendary name closing its doors in the city, but what about the other restaurants in the suburbs? We'll have that in our next half hour. But first, it was the worst volcanic eruption in the United States. And it happened 40 years ago today. That's up next. <laughs> Brian, could you go back to my tag, please? There you go. Awesome. Thank you.